Which ones you want to get? You want to get these? They're four foot. Or I think these are five. So this would be. Those are taller. Yeah, we want. We those. don't need we something want... that tall, do we? Yeah, you want to be able to walk into it, don't you? Well, I'm kind of short. I'm thinking this would be just fine because you're gonna have it bowed, and I'll be walking in. You heard it right here, folks. She's kind of short. <laughs> All right, so this is like a. Come on. This is the co-op here in Nashville, Arkansas. This is where we spend a lot of our fun. Puppies. You don't mean puppies. Puppies. Uh. Hey. It's a crater. Craters, huh? <laughs> hey, take it. No. I do not give you consent. No. Oh. Yeah, you What's do. What's going on, fellas? Hello. Hello. What's up? Well, we're down here getting some cattle panels. Uh, we want the ones with the little squares. The little squares. The little squares. The yeah. two by four the square. Horse panels. Yeah, we're going to make a, a hoop house. house for the quail. Oh, that sounds like fun. Tell us about yeah. your uh, channel. Uh, <laughs> well, LTB Farms, YouTube, sheep farm, cattle, goats pygmy goats, chickens, just kind of a day in the life of dealing with the livestock every day. Heck yeah. <laughs> so you guys go check that out. Right? Yes. Check it out. Yes. He has a lot of years of experience with animals and he can teach you a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. No okay, problem. you guys are awesome too. Do we want to go, what, how tall? Um, I think you're too fast. He said 16. That's long. Oh, well. Uh, tall. tall. 60 it. inches. All right. That'd be all right. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> all right, so we're going to take you off here and we're going to. Uh, mm. We need at least four. Make it six. Oh, my God. Let's make it 12 while we're at it. Ten. Mean, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> we're not? No. We still got to build it? Yeah. Well, this is part of it, but I need some lumber now. What? I gotta have a base. I need some two by sixes, some two by fours. This is an expensive venture. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is. It'll be uh, worth it though. This is the cattle panels we got. We got the uh, two by. Oh, yeah. These base. are horse panels. Yeah, horse panels, and uh, we're gonna make a make a hoop house out of it for Don's quail or our quail. Our quail. So Laney works at Co-op, and he's been watching us do the YouTube thing, and he's like, I need to do that. So we talked him into putting in a channel, and uh, he he created his channel. He's got lots and lots of babies getting ready to happen, and uh, in September, all his lambs, which should be. Having babies. He's got lambs, goats, chickens, cattle. He's and a lot of knowledge. He has been doing this for a long time. And he's a really good guy. Yes, he is. Actually, all the guys at the co op are really cool people. And, uh, they're this really... is our hangout. Yeah. <laughs> we hang out here a lot. We spend a lot of money here, is what we do. We should have bought stock. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we got to get on with this project. And uh, we got to go to the lumber yard now. So that's where we're off to. I gotta get a two 12 foot two by sixes and you know what? We don't need that. I thought we had those. I got four by fours we could use that dad gave me. We can lay them out. I just gotta get a drill bit and some anchor bolts and we'll use those. Well let's do it. Bam, we're out of here. You see that? Dang, there's no way I'd put that on top of my truck. I would, I probably would. You would.
So when you start a project and you think you're gonna need some 16 penny nails, you might wanna make sure you have enough. <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to show you why it is so ever important that we get the quail house done. This morning, I woke up to peep, 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 and this is what was in our um, incubator to welcome us this morning. And this is another reason we're going to milk make a little section in the house for the babies our um <laughs> ducks have been hiding eggs underneath the feed shed and about every two days we come home and we find a baby duck in the yard Isn't they cute but they need more room
See you got my manual tool. I do. Morning, everybody. Uh, <laughs> what we're doing today is trying to continue on with the quail hoop house. We're going to be going up to get some pea gravel to put on the floor. Whoa! <laughs> Did you say whoa or go? Whoa! Okay. You get there?
I think this is going to work out just fine. Come here, tell me what you think. I think it was a lot of work. I heard that. What?
bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoor Forever free So uh, we, we built a quail pen, and sorry about the bouncy bouncy, and this morning we're going to finish this video up by putting the quail in, in the, the pen. So enjoy the ending of the video. Mm. Well, we rolled besides, out of bed, besides, yeah, besides the fashion star. statement, um, we rolled out of bed, had a half a cup of coffee, and somebody says, let's get this done. It's going to get hot. <laughs> It is gonna get hot, and they are ready. Yeah, they've been in, they've been in this uh, cage most of the winter and part of the summer. We it's a mess in the garage. We we were working on it. We had ideas for it. We just never put anything into action. We've been so busy doing other things. And it's time. Um, you can tell that they're ready too. So. And this is a breeder cage. What we're finding out with the breeder cage. Is they're not happy together? All the time. Yeah. We had a female kill her male. Who would know? Day before yesterday. So we need more room. So, yeah, I can see a female chucking a male <laughs> in such close easy, quarters. Easy, easy. <laughs> so we have a feeder for outside, but right now we're going to use one of these. And we're going to put it in the pen and put some feed in it. That way they can have feed. Um, we got some little boxes in there that we had that we put some hay in. And we'll probably put... Oh, here. Oh, it's poop. I don't care. No. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll probably put some like ferns or something in there to give them kind of a natural habitat. If the ferns won't kill them. Right. Well, good morning. We'll have to look that up and make sure that it's okay to put those in there. That way they'll have kind of a natural habitat. So here we go. Our first step is try to sit this down without breaking our backs. <laughs> not mainly, mainly not mine, but my wife's. I already heard it once this morning. All right, so I was grabbing it here. Oh, well, I gotta grab the back end of the car. So on three. One, two, 
Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. So. All right, guys. Excuse the mess, but this is the quail house. I built the door last night, and I'm sorry I didn't film it for you. But what I did was I took one by fours and one side of it one by fours on the other side put the wire in the middle tacked it all together at the top i did it uh, all the way up on one side and then i came down below it on this side so it would stabilize the door so don't go ahead and go in so don's put a water out here already and we're gonna probably zip tie that there so here's the boxes we got set up in here we we'll put some hay in there and we'll probably set some ferns on top to kind of give it more of a natural look for them we put a chicken waterer in here and we're gonna put their feed down here we'll put their feed down here down where down there down there down i think there. that's plenty is that gonna work i think so i figured you'd just bury it in the in the gravel and it'd be there's okay. wood in the way all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this right here for you and we're gonna start to bring quail in so one of us will probably have to be at the door you bring my babies so these are the quail, and they're feisty. I'm gonna put her over here. They're beautiful. This is trouble. So, gotta get there where we can see it. Gotta get there where we can see it. All right. Ah, 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 shut the door. So we have all different shapes, sizes, and colors. They're all beautiful, though. Yes, they are. And they're going to have some room to move around for them. So we wanted them on camera, but I think they're camera shy. Oh. Already trying to do the breeding thing. Got it by the wrong end. <laughs> eh, whatever it takes. This one's missing its head. <laughs> Careful. One behind it. That one's missing all its feathers. And its snack. That'll be nice that it's not going to be in that cage having to reach three for food. Hey, baby. Baby. It jumped. Sorry. Is that a long fall? They're very feisty, and uh, luckily it jumped here and I was able to catch it. They're very beautiful birds. Okay, little one. <laughs> They're coming closer and closer to the door. Evidently, they don't fly. Actually, they do, but they've been in that cage for so long that. Baby. No, you can't get out there. Of 
pretty little things. There's one behind you. Please don't step on it. Freedom! They're kind of tripping out on the freedom. I know. Last one? Well, it's the last one. Pretty. Alright, freedom. Do we need to put the beaks in the water or you think they'll figure it out? Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to let them know where the water is because it's going to get hot. Today. Okay, so we gotta catch Maybe them again? You can get them. Yeah. Now that you put them down. Okay, I got one. Should have done this if you came here. I don't know who's who and who's got it. Those haven't. Yeah. Oh. Okay, guys. So what we're doing is introducing them to the water. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Be I nice. Got you. you gotta get the last one. Get the last one. Last one. I'm working on it. Don't worry I'm sure they're listening. Not okay. What? They both are female. She's trying to kill her. They'll get over her. They got a little more freedom. Yeah. It's the uh, pecking See? order. It's pecking order, huh? Yeah, well. She's a real booker. So I don't know which one's a male and which one's a female. Well, that must be a male. Not necessarily. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I know which one's a male now. So you might have fertile eggs now, honey.
think it was successful? <laughs> I do. Um, it's going to take them a little bit to get used to their surroundings. But I think the ferns on top of the nesting boxes will give them nice, nice cover. Yeah. Make them feel safe. Okay. Take, take them a few to figure it all out. It's something new. More room. These guys over in the corner are like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> So these birds have never had freedom since we've had them. Um, my wife's mother gave these birds to her mm -hmm. and her friend. Yes, Tina. Tina. And uh, they were a beautiful addition to our family. And we finally got it done. We finally did it. And I think it turned out really nice. Um, you can tell we did supports. And the 2 by 4s across the top are all just tacked in with u nails and we got uh, a couple tarps on it everything's zip tied on and we'll probably have to redo that later but the zip ties work just fine um six foot chicken wire going across the whole thing we just used two panels here and we put a tarp along the back for so they wouldn't cook during the day we put them in an area where we have plenty of shade for them. You can tell we have a lot of big oaks that's covering up the cage so they don't cook during the day. Yeah. And we have the tarp on top so that when it rains, they have shelter out of the rain. And in the winter time, we'll cover this with a plastic like we did our greenhouse. And we'll leave ventilation. We'll leave ventilation in it. In so, the front. Yeah, so they'll have some air, but we'll cover it up a little bit so the harsh winds and stuff won't hurt them. So I think we did a very, very nice job on it. We did. Um. Hmm. What's the matter? We're gonna have to do something about their food, though. Eventually, if we ever get rain. Because we didn't... Well, that's what the deal is in the back of the truck that we cleaned up. Okay. It's got it's got the cover on it. That's right. We'll put it back towards the metal, and then that way it'll stay dry. Okay. Er. Dry er. Er. We also put pea gravel in the bottom. And we don't know how this is going to work out yet, but for right now, it was the best solution to uh, our problem of what do we do. We also put um, chicken wire on the bottom so nothing can dig in. And on the sides, I haven't trimmed it yet, but I put one by fours on top of that and nailed it down so nothing can get in that way. And in the front, I did the same thing. And in the back, I did the one by four as well. So it's very secure. We're going to overlap this and we'll probably bury this later when it's not 109,000 degrees outside. It's going to be 102 to 103 today. <laughs> so. We're going to come to a closing on this video. We love you guys as always. Thank you for all your support. We're going to go have some breakfast. We got some quail eggs. Some breakfast. You got to eat a lot of those. Let's see what So this is a quail egg. It is very tiny. Um, you boil these and just it's a snack. They're a perfect snack. So we love you guys as always. Thank you for coming to Cabin on the Hill. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. If not, catch us on the other channel. And we remember, have a beautiful, blessed day. How come you never get your ducks in a row, Don? They're kind of. Too bad they're not trucking on down to the hey, pond. Where y'all going? Yeah. Come on, come back here.